everyone, Kaylee here to show you guys how to do Katniss's Arena Braid from The Hunger Games. With Catching Fire coming out this weekend, I thought some of you guys might like to wear this for the premiere. So first off, you want to have some curly or wavy texture to your hair. You could do second day curls, you could do heatless curls, you can go with your natural hair texture if you're blessed with naturally curly slash wavy hair. Or if you have to use a curling iron, you can cheat and just do the top of your hair with the curling iron so you don't have to curl forever and ever and ever. Now, if you don't have naturally curly or wavy hair, I recommend that you take a curling iron, like the smallest one that you have, this one's a 3 quarter inch, and curl just a couple little pieces right around your part, all the way around your head. And you'll see why in a little bit, but basically it helps to break up the line so that you don't have like a perfect little smooth head of hair and then the braid, you want to have a lot of texture to it, which is something that you see in the movie a lot. So this is how I recreated that on my kind of fine straight hair. So if you guys have a little bit finer, straighter hair, this is going to be really helpful for you. So now that we've got that texture in place, it's time to braid. First off, leave your little bangs down if you want to, and then you're going to go ahead and grab the hair that's maybe like an inch or two back from the hairline and start twisting it. Then you're going to begin your Dutch braid. Now this braid is actually going to include a couple little twists with the hair coming from the top because that is what Katniss had in her braid for the arena. And a lot of people had pointed it out to me that they saw some texture there and they thought maybe it was a braid or something. I have extensively watched the footage, both on um, the special features and went back and watched the movie, and it's definitely twists, not braids. So what you're basically going to do is you're going to take those little pieces that we went ahead and did those tighter curls on, and whenever you incorporate them into the braid, you want to give them a little twist to make them stand out. Um, you can see I kind of have a funny looking one right there, I had to go back and fix it. But this one right here, you can see I'm picking it up and I'm twisting it just a little bit so that it will have some texture to it. And then I'm incorporating it. And as I braid it in, you can see that it kind of pulls the twist down a little bit. So I had to kind of go back and pull it up so that it would still be noticeable. And you basically do that with every single one of those really tight curls that we went back and did. Also, as a side note, if you don't have a small curling iron, you can always pin the curl to cool so that it will be a little bit tighter than if you just let it fall. And finally, when you get back to the front, we're going to do some more twisting. So I actually used a little clip to hold my braid in place while I did this, but you want to start up right next to your part right there and twist the hair away from your face, slowly incorporating all the hair except for a little tiny bit next to your face, and then incorporate that final bit into the braid. That's one thing that she really has that's very signature in the braid is this kind of twist on both sides going away from the face. And I think that's there to be very functional so that her hair is nicely pulled back and not going to fall on her face too, too much. And I think those twists are in the back so that it doesn't look too perfect because nothing about Katniss is smooth and perfectly placed. I mean, unless the capital is involved, right? Anyway, I'm going to get off my little nerd train there. If you have really straight ends at the end of this, you might want to go through with the curling iron and curl them, but that's completely up to you. And then I let these down because she had them in the arena, but my hair is way too long for it, so it looks a little funny. So just use your discretion. You can incorporate it in the braid or you can leave them down, whatever you want to do. And that is it for your Katniss braid. I hope you guys like it. If you try it, definitely send me pictures on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see them. And stay tuned for some Catching Fire hairstyles in the next couple weeks. See you guys then. Bye.